All right. We are. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to the IPFS Influencer Sync for October 12th. Um, all right, let's take a look at our agenda items. Uh, and if you're around, put your name in the attendees list. Yeah. In the meantime, I, I guess I can take uh, at least the first two items from the implementation updates. And if other folks have uh, any other updates, uh, feel free to um, add them uh, to the agenda. Uh, first one is, I believe, uh, since we had this call last time, Kubo 23 shipped. Um, details in the release notes, but I guess that <laughs> the takeaway, if you want to have like one action item from this release is that just in case you have uh, multi others written down in a text form somewhere uh, in appearing agreements between uh, your services in your uh, Docker or, or cloud configurations, or even if you have your own bootstrapper, make sure you replaced uh, quick with quick v1. And with this, this release, you can remove a uh, quick uh, details on the release notes. Uh, we've deprecated quick uh, uh, a while ago. This is just a final cleanup. Um, and the second item is um, a re really exciting one <laughs> is that we have uh, IPFS uh, URI support in the latest uh, curl CI uh, CLI. Um, Thanks to our uh, friend, community friend, uh, Mark, um, who maybe like I opened tabs and I forgot to share them, but for Mark, <laughs> this is a pull request. Yeah, you can see it took a long time and a lot of effort, uh, but finally it got merged. And thanks to uh, security incident, uh, it shipped a bit sooner. So we uh, don't want to like take uh, away focus from the <laughs> people patching, but uh, there will be like a blog post uh, in IPFS blog about details uh, next week. Uh, but uh, it is there. There's a built-in support for IPFS uh, addresses in the curl CLI. And it, uh, this together with uh, uh, raw and car response types allow you to use even like untrusted gateway, uh, if you uh, have tools uh, to verify hashes yourselves on your local machine. So I link the docs, you can read them, uh, but that's that's the update. Once again, big kudos to Mark for pushing this effort multiple months. Um, yep. It's a Kubo 23 and more things there, but, but two opt-in features people might be interested in. Um, are uh, serving the gateway API, or at least the, the trustless component of the gateway API over the P2P. So that means that if, you know, you want people to be able to fetch over using, you know, the gateway API, whether, you know, for blocks or cars uh, to, you know, dweb.link or, you know, Cloudflare gateway or something else, you can reuse the same logic and also hit a node that does not have uh, CA cert and public IP address, uh, but just has, just has, you know, uh, some little P2P identifier that makes them more, uh, reachable, um, and do the same thing there. Thanks to some work with the P2P folks on standardizing the HTTP, um, plus P2P layer. Uh, and the other is, um, the ability to expose the routing V1 API, uh, next to the other, like, you know, slash IPFS slash IPNS gateway APIs, um, which means you can sort of delegate out your routing to a particular node, both, you know, DHT and, and IPNI lookups, um, which can allow you to make sort of clients that are much thinner um, around all of this, right? Uh, they don't need to, they don't need to spin up. They don't need to do routing things. They just, they, they spin up, get the data they need, validate it and complete. Um, so you sort of can just use, use this kind of thing as your, as your daemon, um, not for, fe not for fetching the data, just for finding it and, and then going to go get it yourself.
and there's still time to add some implementation updates if other folks have that, but uh, kind of related, uh, maybe I'll very quickly speed run over the specification corner. Uh, the first item is related uh, to one of the things that uh, Adin mentioned, and I believe it's already on the website, so maybe I'll just uh, show the website, hopefully. Uh, there won't be any incidents. <laughs> Uh, so the ability to expose um, the gateway over uh, the P2P uh, connection um, requires some glue. And it's a very small spec which defines that glue. It's based, built on top of the P2P uh, plus HTTP specification from the P2P project. So we don't fully duplicate that spec. This is only like the delta on top of that only the IPFS related semantics, uh, how to expose the gateway. And this is how the Kubo 23 ex exposes the, the server endpoint. Um, uh, this is marked as draft because also the P2P specification is still an open PR, uh, but uh, we hope uh, by the fact that we ship that as an opt-in feature in Kubo, that enables people to start experimenting with this, um, especially like in the browser context uh, as an additional option uh, to avoid mixed uh, content warnings. Um, there are three, the usual, uh, there, are, I, there are IPIPs on the board, but uh, there are uh, three uh, items for um, maybe like short-term prioritization or quick feedback for anyone interested. First one is a compact denialist format. Uh, it's been cooking for a while, uh, but uh, it's not like ready for a final like ratification, but maybe like next time we have this meeting uh, because we've uh, been, um, we've, we've been uh, <laughs> working uh, thanks to Hector's uh, allocation of time uh, uh, in, uh, towards having uh, it built into Kubo. So it will be a very, uh, very simple, but built in support into every Kubo instance at, at some future release, uh, which will use this uh, denialist format. So it would be nice to both uh, have a specification ratified uh, along the time when we ship uh, support to the uh, most popular implementation. Uh, and other two BitSwap specifications already existed, but we did not publish them on the website, but it's a good opportunity for people to eyeball and maybe like ask questions. Um, and the UnixFS specifications did not exist, but we are writing one. Um, so also the usual needs more eyes, questions. Um, questions are very useful. Uh, if you know answers, that's even better, but asking questions in the, in, in case of specification is very useful and very important. And there's a one hidden thing, which uh, Jeropo added. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, new IP. Uh, I think it should be easy. I would like to get it merged in two weeks. Um, so basically asking for people for review. Uh, thanks. All right. We'll one one thing I'll, I'll, I'll maybe add, add about that one is, um, whether it's with this IPIP or or some similar ones that that come along, I, I've seen sort of um, some some demand for people wanting for content addressed file types, right? Whether they're UNIXFS files or you know BitTorrent files or or just like three blocks or the Filecoin comp blocks or whatever, um, they want to be able to keep the file bytes together. And sort of the the proof tree or the proof data separate, um, just for like storage and management purposes. It also allows you to do things like web seeds, um, and so figuring out ways to where we can enable people to do this, whether you know, whether it's you know car like car like formats, extensions to the format, things like this, uh, are are um, potentially like really. Uh, really good, really, really useful adoption points for us and, and can really cut down the like, oh, did you already have files somewhere? 
and you wanted to use content addressing to get the data from anywhere, you don't really have to touch your files as they are. We'll just add the proof data to make it verifiable and you'll just hand and you can handle that without so much of the um without so much hassle if you're just dealing with files instead of you know version data and graphs and all of that. Um, so if you're interested in that conversation, this is one place to start. But also I suspect there'll be more input and more evolution here uh, over time. Thank you. Um and we are at the end of our agenda, which means I can do one thing. I can stop sharing. Uh, but if you if you have more items, uh, feel free to add them. I'm happy to screen share if you have uh, any like visual aids. Um, Either everyone is writing or no one is writing. Everyone's uh, reviewing IPIPs. Everyone is. Yeah. Reviewing. I'm very excited about the skip leave stuff. I was literally like, man, we're going to have to do this for sad. And I guess we'll just, you know, submit an IPIP and hope that people are into it and break the spec otherwise. But uh, that's cool because uh, we can do yeah, this. There are, there are multiple use cases that, uh, that, that benefit from it for like for example the pre-existing data sets that have http mirrors yeah on data onboarding on ipfs suddenly becomes way way easier because you don't have to do that in a single gulp you can take a tiny sips does um does anybody know if um does anyone know if if uh anyone in the winfs world has uh has, has read the trustless spec and said, here's how I wonder if we could implement this for WinFS. I think I've mentioned I've mentioned how this is going, I think, to Brooklyn, but I don't think she's she's looked at the spec and thought about how this works with WinFS. Um right. I I think yeah, it's 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 a good call out that we should ask. I, I also think that this relates to you know, the uh, opening the can of like, yeah, you, you, it turns out a lot of people want data that's not Unix FS. So what here? Um, and how do we want to make space for that in the URI? Um, and I, I, there's, I think there's a bunch of groups that are sort of interested in, in how that would go. Um, yeah. and our, I, I think it's probably incumbent upon some of the, Heavy heavy Unix FS users who are, you know, have been building a bunch of the stuff to help to at least help lead the way that this yeah. is a thing that we can extend upon because I think there's a bunch of groups on who are like yeah well I mean if it happens I guess we'll get involved but it might be they they might not they might find that part a little scary of like not really knowing where to jump in because it's like a a big change, um, yeah. But, but I mean, WinFS I, files are fine. WinFS files are UnixFS files, or public WinFS files are UnixFS files. So there's like nothing. There's nothing to yeah. worry about there. It's only yeah. I don't know. I mean, like I know they have like change history and all that. So, but I guess that's yeah. I I I, I should look through it. I, I'm mostly curious, like encrypted, like. Like, but ultimately all those things, this is still like a file system. So like the query language of the trustless protocol seems like it ought not to be too hard to implement, but who can say, yeah. Yeah, right. So a lot of the basic things seem like they would work, but you would need, you need triggers and signals to say, hey, this isn't Unix FS, this is, this is BitTorrent, this is WinFS, this is whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, do we um do we ever talk about putting uh off options in this spec or is it just sort of like up to the implementer? Um, I only ask because we're gonna we're gonna have off in Saturn and like you know I mean like uh it's HTTP 
Throw some off headers on it. No, that's uh, totally all right. All right, all right. I just I was figuring like it's just your own investment, <laughs> but like I don't know if anybody wants to spec it out and be all you canny or let's not. I'd be all right, cool. I mean, I think you can. You can you can spec out and say we're doing head, we're doing bearer tokens that are you cans. We're doing like tokens that are you cans. Here's what our you cans look like. All right, we're we're li yeah. I mean, we're literally putting JWTs in the bearer token. So yeah. all right, for, Bye. for what it's worth. Uh... I looked at it a while ago. Yeah. Trying to like, oh, is this a question we should maybe be answering? And at that point, we already had five different well-used, well-established services using different okay, of yeah. tokens, uh, different variants of uh, OAuth or JWT, whatever. And at that point, okay, maybe this should be left to the implementer. Because uh, even if you write a spec, People will just ignore it because they want to like roll their own. All right. Just 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 try to be a good citizen. But it sounds like it sounds like the answer is do do something vaguely standard and don't otherwise worry about it. Yeah. I, I think the question is, much. does it need to interact with anything in the trustless gateway? Like if you if you want to start connecting those tokens to the data layer where like the data is permissioned somehow, and we want to start saying content address data where that data in some format contains a key. And so we're going to go across different layers of the stack to try and, you know, authorize the JWTs based on something in the data layer. Then we start to need to spec that. But if it's just as a, a layered thing that's that's as an access control thing that the server is dealing with up around the trust gateway, the only real thing would be, do we signal and have some like list of known off yes. things that you could, that you could make your not authorized yeah. things slightly yeah. more detailed. You're it's not authorized for protocol two, which I talked, uh, but yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, this all sounds like a not today problem. Yeah. It's maybe speaking of not today problems. So like a, a nice thing, which maybe I'll, I'll, I'll point out uh, yeah. is that because, because Lytle brought this up, I think after some of like the IPIP 402 things mm -hmm. is that you know, if you wanted to go and implement like a, a new query parameter, skip leaves thing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, Even if it wasn't like spec'd, you still have, there's still like an obvious place for you to put the thing in, right? right? I mean, until it's sort of, it's still, until it's sort of standardized, right? It's, is it going to work with everything else is subject to change, right? But there's at least a spot for you to put in things like, you know, new accept header types or new query parameters. Yeah. Or you to experiment with changing behavior even before it lands, right? If you're like, oh, I have my experimental gateway. Yeah. Um, like that's that's something that's sort of more obvious to do now than it was before we did IPIP 402. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. No, you're like, I want to show a demo, but it doesn't work in two weeks. It doesn't work in two weeks. It's not going to get merged in two weeks. That's okay. You don't have to rush the specs process. You can let people review when they have time because they also have demos that they need to figure out in the next few weeks. Um, <laughs> and that's all right. Yeah, sounds good. All right. That's good. Also, we are, I'm, I'm pushing again. Get to gateway conformance on Saturday. We should be there soon for what it's worth. All right, I guess calling it once, Looks, calling it yeah. twice. Looks like people can have can have some time back. Thank you all for joining the party. We'll see you next time. <laughs>